So you want to renovate your shower, but don't know where to start? You want something like this, but you've got this. Let's get started with the plan. First step, design. Here's where we want to go from the start to what we hope will be the finish. Try to find something that could work in the space that you have that you're going for. Um, you really want to think about when you're in the shower, what's going to change? Are you going to have a niche? Are you going to have a top niche and a bottom niche? Do, does somebody take a bath and also want something on the lower level? You can see in this new one also, maybe now is the time where you think about if you want to move that shower faucet control if you're going to have a piece of glass up or if you don't want to get sprayed when you turn on the shower. I'm not going to do that. I'm leaving everything as is. But these are the kind of things you want to make sure you're thinking about when you're thinking about your new design. All right, next let's talk materials. First, we'll talk about calculating how much tile we're going to need. To get how much tile we're going to need, we're going to need to take all of our walls and break it down into square feet. So how do we do that? Most showers that have a tub have this shape. If you were to kind of lay it out on a piece of paper, if we're trying to get the square footage of the tile that we'll need. So for example, that A1, A2 would be, let's say the back of the shower where it comes, the tile then comes out along the wall over the tub. So we wanna make sure we're calculating the square footage of all the pieces that we'll need whenever we're doing this. For each of the pieces that you see, we're gonna get a length and width and then add it all up to get our total square footage. So here are the pieces that we're measuring. So if you see that A1, A2, B, C1, and C2. So I've put in the length and width of each, each of these and had it calculate out where it's showing the total square footage of the shower to be 71.36 square feet. I think that's pretty average. Depending on your ceiling height, something along those lines is probably what you're gonna be looking at. As a note here also, if you wanna do the niche in a different tile, get the estimate of what you think that niche is gonna be and just buy a little um, extra of that tile. Also what's recommended is when you do find that total square footage of what tile you need, add about 10% extra because the tile never comes where there's nothing broken. Um, when you're cutting some, you're gonna to have to uh, leave a little bit of the edges. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of leftover. So what I would estimate that my tile needs for this would be 71.36 plus 10%, which will be about 78 square feet. Now let's take a look at how you might estimate how much cement board you'll need. Okay, the cement board is a little trickier. It's gonna cover the same area as the tile, but the cement boards come in five by three foot pieces. So it's kind of like a Tetris puzzle that we're gonna to put together to see how many pieces we'll need. Okay, here's a little drawing I did of my pieces of the shower. So you'll see I have each of them laid out as I did in the drawing, but what I've done is I've kind of, with the dotted lines, put in where a cement board will fit, a whole piece. So if you look at the far left side, that wall is 32.5 inches wide and 81.5 inches tall. So that circle numbered one will be my first full piece of cement board. And then what's left over to the bottom will be a piece that's 32.5, I put 33 by 21 inches. So we're gonna kind of save that for later to see where we can fit it in. And the same thing with that smaller piece. So then on the middle part, you'll see what's circled is that number two, that's gonna be a full piece. Number three will be a full piece right below that. And then what's left is a 60 by 10.5 inch piece. So I'm gonna put that into my last piece that I need to Tetris together. And then the same thing on the last piece. So I have four full pieces that I need. Then on the fifth piece that I'm putting these pieces together, I can fit in everything except that far right piece that's 33 by 21 inches. So that means I'll have to have a sixth piece that that is going to come out of. So when I'm estimating how much I'll need in number of cement boards, it's going to be six. Here's the summary of the two things that we needed to really do some thinking on for how much we're going to need. So the tile, which we talked about, and then you can see the number of cement boards I put in is six. Here they run about 13, 1350, so I just did an estimate in there on that. So that's where I'm tracking so far my estimated project costs. And at the end of all this, I'll kind of do a recap on what it's going to be.
Hopefully that was a good run through to help you kind of get your design and material numbers going for what your renovation might need. Up next is demo.